Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to convert metric units of length, and we're specifically going to be working with millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Now, our base unit of length for the metric system is a meter, so everything's going to be based off a meter, and we're going to use prefixes to uh, create other units of length, and those prefixes will tell us what those units of length mean in comparison to that meter. Okay, so for example, millimeter, milli, the prefix milli, means one one thousandth of a meter. So it takes a thousand millimeters to equal one meter. Centimeter, the prefix centi, means one one hundredth of a meter. So it takes a hundred centimeters to equal one meter. And lastly, we have kilometer, and the prefix kilo means one thousand. So it takes a thousand meters to equal a kilometer. And all those notes are right here up top, and we can reference those as we go through the conversions. Now, as a point of reference here, so we know a little bit about what these units of length mean and represent, a millimeter is about the thickness of a paper clip. So it's a very small unit of length. Not how long that paper clip is, but how thick it is. A centimeter is about how wide the average pinky is or how wide a staple is. And uh, on most rulers, centimeters will be marked on the metric portion of that ruler. Um, and then a meter is a little over a yard. So a meter stick, a little longer than a yard. And then kilometer is a little over a half mile. So kilometers are used to measure long distances. So let's get into some conversions here. And number one, we have three meters equals how many centimeters? Well, one meter is a hundred centimeters. So we have three, 100, 100, 100. And whenever we go to meters to centimeters, we multiply by a hundred. So three meters equals 300 centimeters. Next, we have 10 meters equals how many centimeters? So again, meters to centimeters multiply by 100. Each one of those meters is 100 centimeters, and we have 10 of them. So let's multiply, and we get 10 times 100 equals 1,000 centimeters. Number three, nine kilometers equals how many meters? Well, in one kilometer, there's 1,000 meters, and we have nine of them. So 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, nine times, or nine times 1,000. So when we go kilometer to meter, we multiply by 1,000, and for this one specifically, we get 9,000. Number four, 400 centimeters equals how many meters? Well, each meter, there's 100 centimeters. So we need to take that 400 and split it into groups of 100. Each one of those groups of 100 equals a meter. So we need to do 400, divide it into groups of 100 or meters there, and we end up with four. So centimeter to meter, divide by 100. Number five, millimeters to centimeters. So there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So we need to divide by 10 or split into groups of 10. Each one of those tens is a centimeter. So 50 divided by 10 gives us five centimeters. So millimeters to centimeters divide by 10. Number six, 8,000 millimeters equals how many meters? Well, there's a thousand millimeters in every meter. So we need to split that 8,000 into groups of a thousand. 
Each one of those thousands is one meter. So millimeters to meters, divide by a thousand, and we get eight meters. All right, so there's, there you have it. There are some basic conversions um, within metric units of length, specifically millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.